Hey folks, Fernando doing another video regarding Star Citizen and this is going to be part 2 of the tutorial. As you see there in the background says All Star because I'm in port All Star right now. If you haven't seen part 1, I recommend you actually do, especially if you're starting to play Star Citizen and need to learn the basics. Now, I'm here in the station and I'm thinking of doing some missions. What is it that you do so as to earn money? Well, you just have to check your Moby Glass. Gonna be pressing F4, right? Right now, I'm keeping Z down, keeping the key down. You can actually move around. If not, right, you're just moving your head. <laughs> so F4 so has to change into first person, th uh, third person view. Gonna be going back into the first person. I wanna go do some some missions, make get some money. You know, play the game, make a few bucks, so, so maybe buy a cool ship. The kind of thing new players wanna do. So the first thing I'll do is, is check my Moby Glass, see what is it that I have available. Contract manager, and I have delivery missions. These are okay for you know dropping boxes and learning your way around the game. So maybe start doing these at first. Now, once you, you do these, which is simply a matter of picking up a box and dropping it somewhere, keep in mind though, whenever you're dropping a box, usually don't bother with this guy. Look for a drop box uh, unit like this one. Here is where you actually drop off and pick up the, the actual packages. Anyway, F1, contract manager, I have a few one, and, and the ones that pay the best are usually going to be the combat ones. Um, provide backup, that's something that doesn't pay, pay a whole lot, but most of all what you can do this, an author surveillance detected. This is the one I recommend doing because it pays pretty well. 20k for a mission that can be done in under 5 minutes, so I'm going to be accepting this one, right? going to be accepting that one, I'm also going to be accepting... Uh, the one I already have accepted here, which is a call to arms. Always activate a call to arms. Now, I'll try to do a couple missions with you guys. Provide backup. This is also one mission that, even though it doesn't pay all that well, 15k is decent money, but most of all, the, the, this is a bunker mission. Providing backup uh, and, and that sort of thing is a mission in which you go down to a bunker and you can load up in guns, armor, and suits and you save a lot of money with that. So I'm going to be accepting this as well. So you have provide backup, unauthorized surveillance. I have a dedicated video on how to do unauthorized surveillance or illegal monitor det detection. Uh, it's sometimes called. This is something I have a dedicated tutorial for. Just go check that out in the channel. It's a step-to-step -step tutorial that will not fail you. As long as this is working correctly, right? That's a, a tutorial that works pretty well. Unauthorized um, surveillance is the one I'm going to be doing first, so I'm going to be tracking that one, but then I'll do the bunker mission, and for that I have to prepare. How is it that you prepare? Well, I cannot actually do it dressed like this, which is like, you know, like, you know, hitting the office. Just remove these. Remember that if you actually want to put on your undersuit, you cannot do it unless you first remove the clothes or medical gown you're wearing, okay? So first remove that, then put your suit on and I'll put my helmet. Usually you want to have some kind of basic armor and get a backpack so as to carry stuff. Now I don't advise doing that because you're gonna be dying the first time you do this. So keep it simple especially at first. Get yourself just an undersuit helmet and you're probably starting the game with a med pen which is what you use so as to heal yourself. You press C Get that in your hand and with your mouse, left click on it, you're going to be healing yourself. And you'll start with a pistol, something like this, like an arc-like pistol, which is decent enough. Like this, I'm good to go. I get my ship. Right, and I'm going to be taking my Avenger Titan, which by the way is my starter ship and the one I, I recommend. I mean, if you're starting to play right now, guys, get yourself the Aurora MR. It's pretty cheap, it's the cheapest one and you can do most missions with that. And remember, if you're uh, watching this video today, remember that it's the last day of the promotion where using the referral code that you see below there in the description, you'll not only get 5,000 extra credits of in-game money, if you use it today, you also get a, a, a ship, a, a Dragonfly bike, which is very cool, and yeah, completely free if you use a referral code below as of today. 
I think it's the last day of the promotion. So I have to get myself to pad number two and I simply have to read the sign. So going in this direction, get used to reading stuff. Star Citizen doesn't hold you by the hand. You don't have any markers so as to guide you all the time. You have to do these things yourself. So yeah, make sure you have your helmet on so as to not die when going out in space. And I'll go do that mission. Now, I'll warn you that this is the PTU, the testing universe, which I'm at right now. There's been problems with the illegal surveillance missions. So if those are not working well, uh, just go back and use the referral. The, the referral, the, the video, the... Um, uh, the, the tutorial on doing monitors that I have a dedicated video there on that and yes do use the referral as well uh, you have mine there in the description if you decide to give Star Citizen a try you turn on by pressing R I only turns on the engines which is what I did there by mistake at first so now with the ship on pressing the space bar I'm gonna be hoovering up a little bit F4 I go into that third person keeping Z down, I can move around and clicking on N, I'm going to be bringing that landing gear up. Now I can move away and going back to the first person, I'm going to be scrolling the wheel up so as to have my maximum speed available as I move along. Remember what I explained in the previous video, so as to navigate, I'm going to be using quantum travel, so I click on B and now I can move around a bit better. So you have to get myself to that, but it's blocked. So you have to move around the, the planet. I can do that by going in this direction, actually. So I'm going to be quantum traveling to this moon and then back to the other one. Long press when I finish calibrating and F4. So I have to show you how it looks. And it's a pretty neat. It's not really an animation. It's actually moving pretty fast across, the, across space. F4 again, and I'm back in my first person view. Great. So now, yeah, I don't have anything blocking. Or actually, I, I actually still do. Where is that thing? Let me check on F1. Well, I have an enemy ship that is engaging me right now. Attacking me. <laughs> so this is going to be a good way of showing you how to do combat. T is going to be targeting, and now I open fire on these guys. And just like that, <laughs> yeah, seems pretty simple, believe me. When you first give it a try, it's a lot harder than, than it looks. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's just a matter of practicing and, and getting better at it. So let me click on this so as to actually see where the heck is it that I have to get. Okay, so I have to get there. You can actually click, and if it works correctly, it's going to be setting me a route so as to actually get there. It doesn't always work great, but sometimes it does. So anyway, I have my marker now, and now I should be able to get there pretty fast. There we go. Hopefully the monitors do spawn in place. That was one of the problems that was not working all that great before. Fingers crossed it does this time. But again, if it doesn't work, just go back in the channel and look up the tutorial on doing illegal uh, monitor missions. I explained that very well in that video. And trust me, if you follow those steps, you will not fail a single one. And that's a mission that pays 20k every 5 minutes. You can do that all day long in Microtech because you get a bunch of these missions. Right now, doing it here just to show you how it's done. So traveling to selling the moon and I just have to get myself to that satellite. I don't have to destroy the satellite. I have to destroy the illegal monitors. It's a legal mission. You don't get yourself in trouble. You don't commit a crime by doing these. You have to get yourself there and destroy the monitors that are spying on the satellite. Okay, last one. And I'm good to go. Clicking again, I go back into this mode where I can actually check. Here's where I start using my tab key so as to ping the location. Now, the monitors are between 9, 10, and up to 12K, uh, uh, 12 kilometers away from the satellite. So here I have one which is within range. This should be uh, a monitor that I need to destroy. So I'm going to be approaching this. You know, I don't have to hurry at first. The first one 
you know, I see something already there, I click T and I check there keeping F pressed. And yeah, indeed, that is a monitor. It says Chico or CHCO. That's a monitor as it says there. So the, the, the timer is still not running. It only starts when I open fire on the first monitor. So what you want to do is get nice and close to that monitor so as to destroy it very fast. No one is rushing you at this point. So get very close to the monitor. And yeah, I should be getting readings on this on the range, which is not working great now. Again, PTU guys, but there you go. Yeah, it is indeed a monitor. I'm getting close, and I'll get very, very close because I just want to destroy it when I'm well within, you know, maybe 500 meters or so. I can start shooting right now. I'll give F5 a little bit of a boost as we have more power in my guns, in my laser repeaters. And here I open fire on the monitor. And this should be fairly quick. And there it is. Pop that one pretty fast. Now I go back at it and start pinging on locations. I have another one right there. This seems to be... Um, no, this is actually a ship. It's an enemy, an enemy ship. But I'm not going to be messing with that. At this moment, I let it be and just focus on destroying you know, those, uh, those monitors, which is what's giving me the money. That's paying another ship right there. I'll avoid that. I'll go for this one. Fingers crossed, this is the monitor I'm looking for. Uh, you may get attacked, just avoid them, ignore them. Just focus on those monitors that you need to destroy because the time is running. Right about now, and yeah, this is indeed another monitor. Now, if, uh, if I cannot find the last one, it may be because the mission is glitched. It should be working when you check it. I see another one over there. This may be the monitor below that I need to get this mission done. I'll get pretty close if I can. And open fire about now. So start shooting it up. But it's always better to get nice and close and not rush it. Okay, got that one as well. I see another one there. And yes, fortunately it worked. And they have another monitor to destroy. Last one. Don't rush. Don't, don't get in a hurry. Just get rid of the monitor you need to destroy. Make sure you're off center a little bit so as to not crash against it, which is fairly common an occurrence. If you get a missile fired, press H so as to send a decoy and avoid getting hit by a missile. Right? Shields. You know, I'm getting hit in my shield. Someone is shooting at me, so I have to hurry up a little bit. Need to destroy that thing right about now would be great. Just keep on getting off the X, moving a little bit. My shields are getting hit pretty bad. But I want to get this guy before I get shot down in case that ends up happening. If someone is opening fire on me pretty, pretty bad. Anyway, I just destroyed it. My ship is getting toasted. So I want to get myself out of here as fast, as fast as I really can. Yeah. Yeah, my, my ship is pretty damaged, guys. That's 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 not good. But it is a pretty fast ship. The little Titan gets the job done. And right now, I'm just going to be picking a spot somewhere, anywhere, simply to get out of here as fast as I can. Because my ship is about to burn, and I just don't want to see that happen. Well, for whatever reason, I'm, I'm not dead yet, and I hopefully got paid, right? That's... That's the idea. 20k in the back. Now, this is looking pretty bad, but it's mostly on the inside. And here I see the damage on my ship, so it's a little bit toasty. I'll just wing it. Go at it. Now, I'll click on C again so as to go back into the, you know, the, the couple mode. And I'm going to be going for the next one. I'll just do... The next mission I have. Oh, right. Nine tails. That's pretty cool. I can actually accept that and give it a go later on. Accepting nine tails. Yeah, <laughs> eventually. But let's get back to the tutorial. I have the accepted ones. I have my provide backup. This is the one I told you that I'm going to be farming for armor and guns and, and that sort of stuff. So I can go back F1 and set on my skyline. Double clicking. And where is that? Okay, see it's over there. So I want to get myself there, set the route, and there we go. So I need to make a, a quick jump. You know, again, uh, I'll just keep it real. If I get shot, just 
<laughs> just try doing the thing. Yeah, Nine Tails is activated. I'll, I'll get to it later. I just don't want to miss it, but I want to finish the tutorial first. Uh, Nine Tails is, is you know, it's a, a combat mission that is, it's, it's kind of new at this moment. And it, it's, it's being tested in the PTU. But we're going to be going to the security post and doing that bunker mission. Let me know in the comments below if you've been trying Star Citizen, if you like it, if you like what you see so far. It is a beautiful game and it can be lots of fun. But that monitor mission I just did, that's that's the money maker, man. That's how you buy your, fir your first bigger, nicer ships. There's better ways of making money for sure. The best ways of making money is Star Citizen, mining. Get good at mining. I'll... Uh, I'll do a video on that. You basically need to learn how to do quantum mining, which is not easy, but it pays very well. One of the best simple ways of making good money is going at, um, at, at bounty hunting missions. The first ones don't pay all that well, but the medium, high, or extreme risk ones, those pay good money. And once you get good at it, which is you know what this is really about, once you get good at it, you make a lot of money with those uh, extreme risk uh, missions. Now here I'm in a in a moon, which means that there there's a there's very little gravity, and they have and there's no well it's not so much the gravity. You have to be careful because of the thin atmosphere, which is not breathable, and speed is is different as it is in the planet. So you have to be careful not to crash in the surface of of the moon. So I'm approaching, and when I'm about you know eight or nine uh, kilometers away, maybe a little bit closer, I'll take it down to five. I'll just start slowing down so as to not crash. Okay, so it's always better to be cautious. Don't speed it. Just make sure you don't crash, especially when you start playing at first. Okay, I'm already being told that there's 10 hostiles that need to be eliminated and going at it with just a handgun, which is not ideal, but doesn't matter. If I die, <laughs> you still get uh, you know you, you still you still get the idea. My advice is this go at it with you know as little as you can. Start trying to loot a little bit and then only uh, you know start spending money because if you start spending money in armor guns at first you'll be dying several times and you'll run out of money yeah even with those 5000 K extra by using the referral code that goes by very fast if you spend it in armor and guns better loot it in these places Oh, almost crashed against that thing now a little piece of advice that I have here for doing bunkers get as close as you can especially with a ship like this if you got yourself a Titan the advantage is that you can get that gate almost right there it actually, if you get it very close, you can jump out of your ship and into the bunker naked, even in the moons. Press I so as to turn off the engine, but not the shields. The shields will give you some extra protection in case someone starts shooting at you. So my ship is pretty damaged. I have a bed right there for locking out. It's, it's kind of in flames inside. But you see what I mean? I'm, I'm pretty close. I could even you know, run in here if I do it fast enough. I could do that even naked, and I've done I, I've done missions naked in the moon before. <laughs> anyway, with uh, the number one, I'll bring out my gun. I have 30 rounds. That should be enough to get me started and maybe get a better gun while I do the mission. Let the security personnel take care of a little bit of the uh, of the hostiles that you have here, and go about it cautiously because now these guys can actually shoot. Now, I got lucky because I see a, a box right here, which I'll holster my gun, my gun with R, and I'll check what I have available there. I have a Scrooge, a Scrooge a missile launcher, and I have a decent rifle, which I actually can set some optic on it, and a few mags for it. So I'll get this right there. I could actually use this one, which is actually better, and would allow me to... Get more of that, of those max. I'll actually show you how you can do that because it's actually a little bit of fun. Let me show you how to get this. Yeah. What the hell did this guy reload? 
Okay. Careful with those enemies. These guys are getting better at it. And they can actually nail you if you're not careful. Move around. Use cover. Cover does not always work great. I've been hit before through cover, which is kind of a kind of disappointing. I see some movement there on the right. What is this guy doing running at me? Okay. Just take cover again. I'll show you how you can go while well, these guys take care of that. I'll show you how you can even go naked and and get back to action. And this is one of the ways in which you also start collecting loot. So if you have the Avenger Titan or some other small ship that you can get very, very close to the entrance, even if the moon will kill you when exposed to it, if it's very, very close, you can actually do this. You can remove your helmet. Okay, I'll remove my helmet. I'll remove this suit. And I'll just keep the gun. And I'll just run... And yeah, I lost a little bit of health, but no big deal. I can actually get back to it. And now I left the armor in there, and I'll use the one that is available in the actual <laughs> in the actual bunker, which will let me get. I actually lost, you know what, my med pen, and that's kind of one of those big no-nos. Don't go at these things without a med pen, because the med pen is what saves you if you get shot from bleeding to death. But I wanted to get this one because this suit. I'll actually get this big gun right there. Yeah. Yeah. Don't hurry with Star Citizen. Take your time. I'll leave that rail gun, which is, <laughs> which is kind of rare to find. I'll leave it in the ship and collect my med pen and then go back to action. Meantime, the, the security personnel is doing their thing and taking care of some of those enemies for me, which I'm all in favor of. Okay, back in my ship. I dropping that stuff there, collecting that. I'll actually throw the handgun just in case I end up needing it. Okay, now I'm good to go. Okay, five enemies left. Remember, use cover, lateral movement can save you, and if anything goes wrong, R, so as to reholster, but just press C, and then click on the mouse button, and that is the med pen. C is the way in which you reach your med pen to getting my rifle out again. With control, I, I kneel a little bit, so as to... Get a little bit of cover right there. Enemy right there. Headshot. Taking care of that. That's a friendly. Don't shoot those guys. If you do that, you'll end up with a crime stat. And you don't want to do that. Another bad guy over there. Headshot again. And this is how you take care of these guys. Anyone over there? Keep moving. Don't stop. Don't freeze. This is pretty much like in real life. If you stop, you're dead. So move around. Get off the X. Even a little bit of movement may end up being the difference between dying or not. So I see a bunch of dead people there. That is one of the bad guys. I really want to make sure he's dead. Going to be running around here just in case. Objective complete. So I got rid of all of these guys. And now it's just a matter of picking up as much stuff as I can and storing it in my ship. That's basically all I have to do now, right? Run around, pick as much armor. For example, this guy, I like his suit. I just remove my armor and put whatever it is I want. Last little tip to keep in mind. If you're running around naked, it actually makes things quite a bit faster because you can just drop the entire set of armor in on, on your body for example I'll show you how it's done right you want to take off your armor I'll actually even store my I don't, I don't think I actually can do that let me see if I can just take off my helmet here okay that works and the entire set of armor uh, uh, the undersuit I'm storing the entire undersuit with the guns but now that I'm naked one of the advantages of being naked is that I can actually run 
and drop the entire set of armor on, on my on, on my guy. And instead of having to move piece by piece, I just pick it all at once. For example, this guy, which one had the nicer armor? Was it this one over there? Anyway, whatever I want to collect, for example, this one. This is a solid set. I press on loot, and instead of picking one by one, I just drop the entire thing, and it drags everything along with it, even the components, anything that he had. And now, guys, I have a full set of armor that's like 10k, and a gun, and I can just repeat this and drop more stuff in my ship. Guys, that's been how you, you get these things done for now. It, you just repeat, store stuff in your ship, and you... You know, you farm quite a bit of loot. See you on our next video, folks. Take care.